Okay, so you made it through module one. In this module, I'm just going to go through briefly uh, some of the strategies or the concepts that you're going to find in the ClickFunnels template that Grant is going to go through with you. Um, and this will just kind of help identify ways you can meet your marketing objective, whether it's to gather more emails, whether it's to increase your reviews, increase your BSR, just you know, have more profit, create more profit. These are just some of the ways um, and techniques that you're going to find in the ClickFunnels. So the first one um, is email capture, which we talked about a lot in the previous module, um, but it's, it begs repeating. Your, for your landing page, its primary purpose is to get their emails to capture it. And why this is so important is it is now yours, and you can use that, that email list that you're building to retarget them later when, for further launches. You can also use it in Facebook to create a lookalike audience. So you gather those characteristics and then you can start marketing even more to you know, that audience. Um, it's worth a dollar amount, so you wanna hold on to it. So you constantly wanna build your email list. It's, it's really your way of making money. And it's solid, no one can take that away from you. So email, so, so your landing page specifically is going to be for email capture and then you can funnel them into a sale. But that's kind of what you want. Um, another thing that you're going to see in the ClickFunnels uh, template that Grant's going to go through is the concept of a lim limited time offer. Now, we've all seen this. We've been exposed to it over and over again. TV ads, radio ads, I mean, and it's all over the place. Limited time offer ads. Why are we so exposed to it? Well, because it works. I mean, when you are presented with an offer that is of interest to you, that you really like, and then someone says, you have 24 hours left to do this, you have 10 more minutes, you're going to get on that because you really want it. So that's why it's, it builds that sense of urgency as well as it builds that sense of scarcity, which really brings into that primal feeling of you know, value. It brings it to a higher value when you put that limited time offer on it. So very important to, to look at and kind of see and play with that with your products um, and depending on what, you're, what you are trying to sell. So it works very well with that. Um, we're going to go into the concept of giveaway and also you know, using, it, using your landing page as a deep discount. So when you talk about giveaways, when we talk about giveaways, we are using it primarily for, again, email capture. And when you're doing a giveaway, three things you really need to consider would be the relevancy, uh, the, how appealing it is to your customer, and that they would be willing to buy it. So you need, you, need, you need to have a killer, killer giveaway in order for you to capture their email. Um, we use it as kind of a lottery um, aspect, so we may have a really awesome giveaway gift that's relevant. You know, we use the example of an artist community, and we have this phenomenal set of paintbrushes, you know, and we say, okay, we're going to give this away. Give us your email. We're going to put you in, uh, and you may win this. While they're on that landing page though, we can now upsell them and drive them to another page that says, well, just in case you don't win, here is the same you know, package of phenomenal paintbrushes for 40% off or 50% off. Um, and if you win, we'll refund that money. So you've, you've captured them, you're drawing them in, you're pulling them through the th that funnel. So that's what that giveaway does. It just entices them and pulls them in. So very, very powerful as well. Um, the deep discounts, you know, when you create your landing page and you have your product image and you do that, you know, 40, 50, 80% off, that deep, deep discount, uh, we generally use that for a product launch, you know, so you don't, but it's a targeted product launch. So we've already identified who our audience is. We know that they want this product, so we're more likely to get reviews um, and they're more, like to, more likely to come back. So. It is, we use it as a product launch to, you know, to, and also to, to boost our BSR, uh, to increase our reviews. So it's just really good for that. And again, it's targeted. You're not having to do a mass blast to people that it may not, that product may not be relevant to. So deep discounts. Um, I think that's, that's it. And we're going to go on to the next module and Grant will take it from here. Well, that concludes this module. We look forward to seeing you in the next.